number one, bro. Kobe Bryant averaged like six, seven points his first year at 18 years old. LeBron James averaged 20 points, five um, assists, and five rebounds. Kobe backed up Eddie Jones, man. No disrespect, Eddie Jones is my homie, my guy. LeBron James wouldn't have backed up Eddie Jones in the 10th grade, man. You know, you want to call it LeBron James ain't never walked in a month in NBA locker room and put a Robin uniform on, man. He always was Batman, man. Let's be for real. Kobe was Robin to Shaq's Batman. Shaq won all the fucking MVPs. Shaq won all the final MVPs. It's the same damn thing. He's the second greatest player of all time behind Michael Jordan. I don't think nobody could contest that Mike's the best. How I many rings Kobe got? This is five, 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 five. What is we talking about? I'm just asking. No, no, let me tell you. Tired with yourself. Then they start off slow. Then the NBA tried to look. See, this is what I hate. No, this is this is what I hate. Right here, niggas like this, bro. We just get to talking. Now, Gilly can hoop or whatever, like that, but niggas like this who just get to talking. LeBron James was not getting put in over Eddie Jones, period, no matter how good he was, because it was a different game in the 90s. They were not believing. And what he not understanding is Kevin Garnett the year before was just, I think, the first uh, high school player to come to the NBA. And then you had Kobe and so on and so forth. They were not letting 17, 18-year-olds take over the franchise at that time. You talking about he wouldn't have backed up uh, – he went to backed up Eddie Jones and Tim Gray. He couldn't shoot. How you thought he was going to get the starting spot and he couldn't shoot? Once they figured out all that, they would have told LeBron James ass up in the 90s. And in the, and in the 2000, come on now. If Brian had came out in 96, come on now, bro. They would have destroyed him because he could not shoot, bro. He was terrible at the free throw line as well. He was a phenomenal passer. And a good rebounder. Wallow, you heard Wallow said, five, what are we talking about, bro? This got sent to me by my boy DBZ. This was this was requested. This is my thing, bro. Kobe, better mid-range shooter. Kobe, better defensive player. Kobe is the only player in history, I believe, in a decade to have 20,000 points and, and at least 10 all defensive teams. Kobe is 23 and what? 14 in the finals. In all finals games. LeBron is 22 and 33. What are we talking about? I need excuses of what happened with this, this, and that. I'm talking about the end results. In 2007, LeBron James lost to the Spurs. 22 points per game, 69% from the free throw line. He was just awful. And that was uh, Tim Duncan's worst finals. Drew Gooden and Big Z was locking him up. He got outplayed by Tony Parker, 24 points per game. And don't say he ain't had help because every game was every game was within five points for them to win. So I don't want to hear that. I watched that whole series. That same team, Kobe, the next year, with Paul Gasol averaging only 12 points per game in that series. And Lamar Odom averaging 12 points per game in that series. Kobe averaged 29 points per game versus that same Spurs team. And gentlemen swept them.
Come on, man. The Orlando Magic. When Dwight Howard and them destroyed the Cavs. And Delonte West put up 20. And Verja put up 14. Mo Williams put up 17. They got destroyed by Dwight Howard, 41 and 14. But he can guard 1 through 5. I was requested to do this video, so don't just be up there, oh, you making another LeBron video. I was requested to do this video, and I'm going to do it. See, this is what this is what be getting me, bro. You talking about he would have never put on a Robin suit. He has before. 2011, where Wade, where Wade was the best player in that whole playoffs. And he let Le and he let Wade Says, I want you. and he let Wade down, bro. Kobe would have never had that shit happen to him in 2011. And y'all could talk all y'all want about the 2004 Finals. That still wasn't as bad as what LeBron did in that 2011 Finals. Still wasn't. And Kobe did have a game winner in that playoffs. Kobe's problem, Kobe's problem was his selfishness. And him and Kobe, him and uh him and Shaq was done. Their relationship was basically unrepairable. They would have won, they may, maybe would have won that series. Although I don't think they would have won that series. Our defense is too good. The Pistons defense. But this is hilarious, bro. This is hilarious. All those reasons. You know what I'm saying? He didn't say nothing about the game or nothing like that. Listen, like I said, Kobe's a better defensive. He's better scoring the ball. Come on, man. What are we talking about? The, also, the only player, the first, I say the first player, to have 30, 33,000 points and six assists. What are we talking about, man? Gilly want to talk and do all that? I'm explaining to you exactly what happened. And while we at it, Why we at it? Look at all this. Kobe never had to do this. Look at this. Look at all them W's. In the West. And y'all wonder why he went to eight straight finals. Come on now. Come on now, man. Most of the all most of the all NBA teams was West during conference. What are we talking about, bro? Kobe never had this. Two other teammates in the top ten in scoring the year before they got to the uh, to the NBA Heat. I mean to the uh, Miami Heat. Come on, man. This is what I was looking for. You want to talk about Robin, right? You want to talk about Robin, right? And all three of those uh, MVPs where he went against Todd McCullough. He went against uh, uh, old-ass uh, Dikembe Mutombo and Rick Smith, who actually gave him problems bringing him outside of the paint. 
he played through Shaq in the finals because he had weaker competition at the, at the center position. Come on, bro. Western Conference playoffs. Kobe Bryant, 27. And these all four of them. Kobe Bryant, 27 points per game, five rebounds, five assists. Shaq, 26.7 points per game, 13 rebounds, and three assists. Do that seem like a robin to you? Or do, I, or do that seem like a player who played the best as against the tougher competition? The Western Conference Finals or the Western Conference Playoffs was the gauntlet for the Lakers. Once they got to the finals, bro, that was easy cooking. And I'll be honest with you. The toughest teams were in the Western Conference Finals, whoever they was going to play. Come on, bro. What are we talking about, man? Now, again, what are we talking about? It's Kobe all day. Goat Jr. 